since we're talking about this very popular app, we wanted, uh, you know, to compare it and get some perspective. YouTube is another popular video sharing platform as well. And YouTube expert Owen Video is joining us this morning. Good morning, Owen. Great to see you. He's here Thanks, to, Liz. Great to, to be here share with you today. some thoughts and some perspective about TikTok. Let's get into the to the uh, you know the serious uh, news of TikTok, which is this uh, idea and this thought that it's a it's a dangerous Chinese app. Do you agree with that? What are your thoughts about that? Well, it's not as dangerous as a Biden presidency. I'll tell you that much. That's number one. But you know, there's a lot of misinformation uh, around TikTok, and that's because TikTok has been in international news lately. Uh, we we've heard that India has banned the app too. And all the headlines in the US were India bans TikTok, India bans TikTok. But what we have to understand is that India is in a physical war on the border of China. And not only did India ban TikTok, but they banned 50 other Chinese-based apps as well. The media in the US chose to report on only one of those apps. Now, we also heard news that Amazon told its employees to get mm -hmm. TikTok off of your phone. Well, that was fake news. That Amazon did send out an email, but they immediately rescinded that email and said that was an accident. We were preparing that email. No one should have hit send. So a lot of the, the hoopla we're hearing around TikTok is more like pop, pop fiction than actual truth. But that being said, it's a good idea that we keep an eye on what TikTok is doing. But more than that, we need to keep an eye on what the other apps in the app store are doing. Let me say this, Liz, and I know I talk so much and I, I appreciate us being able to have this conversation, but if TikTok was doing something nefarious, Apple and Google are to be held responsible because they are the ones that built the framework that allows the app to operate. Apple and Google have said nothing. And the reason they've said nothing is because TikTok really, really, folks, functions just like every other app on your smartphone. Interesting. So what what type of data is TikTok collecting, I guess, is the, the question. Great question. OK, so every app on your phone is gathering data from you. And there's really kind of like two levels of security, right? There's like a basic app. And then there's apps that can do a little bit more. Now, basic apps, they are grabbing more information than, than you even recognize. And that information is being used to serve you ads and to, to show you products and services that they think that you're going to like. So this idea that your, your information is being stored in, in, a, in, a, in a Chinese dungeon somewhere where one day they're going to come after you and your family, I think is really just media hype. At the end of the day, they're collecting this basic data from you, you know, how often you use, what other apps you use to, to serve you more advertisements, which, you know, we might roll our eyes at, but it's the, it's the truth of the matter. Now, TikTok actually enters into the second level of security. And the main issue around it is what's called clipboard scraping. Okay. Mm -hmm. And clipboard scraping means that TikTok is actually seeing what you copy and paste on your phone. So let's say that you go um, into a, a website and, or you're reading an article and you wanna copy a, a couple paragraphs and share it with your friend. Well, TikTok, the app will know that you, you grabbed that information and they will store that information on US-based servers. It's very important to recognize that, that TikTok is owned by ByteDance, which is a Chinese company it's also the largest privately held company in the world. I don't think a lot of people know that, that, that it's, it's, it's based, mm -hmm. it started in communist China, but it is a privately held company. And it's CEO'd by a former Disney executive based in Los Angeles. So it's not like TikTok is over in China and all the information right. is going to come. It's all based right here in the United States, which is great. That, that right. means that we've got this added level of security. Yeah. But clipboard scraping can be pretty sort of like uh, maybe makes you uncomfortable when you start thinking about copying and pasting your um, passwords and mm. your login information. And so, that's just in general, though, right, Owen? I mean, we have to take a certain measure of precaution 
no matter what we do, no matter what app or what website we're on, we always have yes. to just, you know, have that, keep that in mind. Just be, you know, be you cautious. Have to keep that in mind. Apps don't work properly unless they're grabbing information from you. Okay, yeah. that's really, really important. So the apps that we love, you know, they really don't work well unless they're grabbing information from you. What's important to understand about TikTok, however, is that TikTok is not the only app that's clipboard scraping. There are at least mm. 53 other apps in the Apple App Store, and I haven't even counted the Google apps yet if you're using Samsung, but if you're on iOS, there's at least 52 other apps that are clipboard scraping and nary a newsman is complaining. And so we yeah. have to really take a look at like, what's TikTok doing and you know, is anyone else doing it? Uh, ABC News is doing it, yeah. CNBC is doing it. And, and you know, I, I have, yeah. if I'm, I, I'm, I may be misquoting, there's so many ABCs and CNBCs and I'm trying to follow my notes here. Um, Al Jazeera does it. And so clipboard we need to scraping, know huh? Reddit, Reddit mm -hmm. does it, but here's the thing. When TikTok was approached about this, TikTok vowed to stop the practice and are actively doing everything they can to become a more trusted name in the American huh. marketplace, which I think says a lot because yeah. Al Jazeera didn't say they were gonna stop. ABC News didn't say they were gonna stop, but Reddit said TikTok they would stop clipboard and scraping saying, and TikTok said they would stop yeah. clipboard scraping as well. So TikTok is responding to the demands of the American consumer, and I think that's really important. Okay, good point there. Owen, oh, before I let you go, uh, as a YouTube expert and someone who knows so much about this world, why do you like TikTok? And I know oh. there are so many people uh, that are starting to make money off of this app. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if you can, you know, answer this in a, in a condensed form in the last, sure. you know, 60 seconds that we have. Sure. TikTok is a great app for families. You know, you turn on YouTube and I love YouTube. I've built a career on YouTube, but you, it's not always family friendly. I have four kids. We're very family oriented and I like to watch online videos with my kids. And so TikTok has learned that I like family friendly content. So I can watch TikTok with my family. And I literally there, my whole family will be around me. My kids, you know, ages six through 13 are watching TikTok with me. And I can be confident that there will be you know, no pornography, that there will be no profanity and profanity does slip in. I think everyone has these varying levels of, of, of what they like. But TikTok is really an app that has brought our family together. We have amassed millions of views by making funny skits with our right. family. And so TikTok during this quarantine season has been a family togetherness app. And it's, it's headed by a Disney exec. And so you can kind of see how the family you know, mm. works around TikTok. So that's why I really like it. And we're seeing huge opportunities to work with big brands through advertising on TikTok, which is another monetary reason to enjoy the app. It's wonderful that we're skeptical. And as Americans, we should all be skeptical. However, once we do the research, we find that TikTok is another, it's a YouTube competitor. It's making a big splash in America. And I would urge you to download TikTok on your phone go to Owen video, watch some of my skits and see if you like it. And if you just don't feel comfortable with the security issues, delete it from your phone, sure. restart your phone and you'll be safe and secure. Do you have something that uh, a, like teaches people, you know, how to monetize and or make money off of it? Cause I heard like adding hashtags and, you know, posting frequently that all contributes yeah. to yeah i would say that the big and you, you don't make money on tiktok from the views you you make money on tiktok by reaching out to a company and saying hey i've got all these views on tiktoks how about you pay me to mention your name in one of my videos we recently uh in, did this with one of my friends dj hunts who has got a hilarious tiktok account we helped him generate thousands of dollars of, of revenue from brands in just a week or two so there's money opportunities there, but there's also just a lot of fun opportunities. You know, you ever sit down in front yeah. of YouTube and you're like, man, I don't have 20 minutes to watch this. <laughs> TikTok <laughs> is very short. It's very succinct. It's super fun. And, and it's super popular. My goodness. Minutes while you're waiting for the doctor's office or whatever yeah. it is you're doing. No kidding. Hey, Owen video breaking down. And uh, all of the, uh, you know, and debunking the, the rumors. Uh, TikTok is this dangerous and crazy app. And right. uh, there's so much to continue to learn about it. But we appreciate your time. It's good to see you. It's good to always talk to you. And Pleasure we will talk mine, soon, Liz. my friend. Hopefully I'll be back in the studio with you someday soon. I know. Fingers crossed, right? <laughs> all right. Thank you, my friend. Thanks, Liz.